Hey everyone! Welcome back to Conceptual Mind. In today's video, I want to talk about the habits and behaviors that may be preventing you from being truly happy. Happiness is something we all strive for, but it can often feel out of reach. We get so caught up in chasing goals or pleasing others that we lose track of what really matters, our own fulfillment and inner peace. The truth is that happiness starts from within. It's about getting to know yourself, understanding your values, and making choices that align with who you really are. Of course, that's easier said than done. Many common traps can sabotage your happiness without you even realizing it. That's why today, I want to share 9 key things you need to stop doing if you want to create lasting joy and contentment in your life. These are small shifts that can make a huge difference. Number 1. Stop saying no to the present moment. It's easy to put off happiness until you reach a certain goal. You tell yourself, once I achieve this thing, then I'll be happy. But constantly waiting for the next milestone keeps you stuck wishing life away. True happiness can only be found in the here and now. Each moment is an opportunity. Practice being fully present instead of dwelling on the past or anticipating the future. Savor ordinary moments, be attentive to your senses, and see the beauty around you. Appreciate the now instead of taking it for granted. Live your life fully immersed in the present. Number 2. Stop ignoring your inner wisdom. We all have an inner voice guiding us, but it's easy to override it with outside opinions. Next time you feel the pull in your gut telling you, this is right, or this is wrong, listen closely. Tuning into your intuition and inner truth is key. You have all the wisdom within you already. Trust your instincts, they lead you to an authentic and aligned life. Number 3. Stop trying to fix other people. Now, this one's tough. Of course, you want to help the people you care about, but you need help to force solutions. Each person has their own path. Focus on being compassionate, but realize you can't solve someone else's problems for them. They have to help themselves, just as you do. Let go of the need to fix others. You'll feel lighter and free yourself up to find your own happiness. Lead by example, be supportive, but allow them their journey. Number 4. Stop overworking and exhausting yourself. It's so easy to get caught up in the hustle, working countless hours to get ahead and be successful. But what are you sacrificing? At what cost? Burning yourself out will only leave you depleted, stressed, and disconnected from what you love. Set boundaries and make time for rest, relationships, and activities that recharge you. Do work you find meaningful, but don't make it the only thing in your life. Balance is key. Make sure you're nourishing all aspects of your well-being. Number 5. Stop dwelling on the negative. Life has its ups and downs, but you have a choice of where to focus your attention. You can ruminate over what's lacking or appreciate all that you have. Are you caught up in a cycle of negative thinking? Shift your gaze to the positives, even small wins. Instead of criticism, try encouragement. Look for the silver linings. There is profound power in your perspective. You are dwelling on the negative that drains your spirit. But focusing on gratitude, joy, and possibility opens the door for happiness to bloom. Number 6. Stop fearing mistakes. Mistakes are part of life, but we often let the fear of failure hold us back from trying new things. What if you permitted yourself to mess up? Do it anyway next time you want to try something but doubt yourself. See mistakes as learning experiences, not the end of the world. You have room to grow. By embracing imperfection, leaving shame behind, and being willing to try and fail, you open yourself up to a life of exploration and meaning. Failure is how we learn and reorient ourselves toward happiness. Number 7. Stop trying to please everyone. You want to make the people in your life happy, but you can't please everyone. Saying yes to others at the expense of your own needs leaves you depleted and unfulfilled. Give yourself permission to put yourself first. Set boundaries that honor your well-being. You're not responsible for others' emotions. You're allowed to say no. Follow your compass, not the expectations of those around you. Stay true to your soul's purpose. Your authenticity and inner alignment are key to lasting happiness. Number 8. Stop avoiding tough conversations. Speaking up is hard when there's a disagreement, but avoiding necessary conversations causes more harm in the long run to relationships and your peace of mind. Be willing to share your perspective even when uncomfortable and vulnerable. Approach others with grace and an open heart. See conflict as an opportunity for growth and understanding. 
instead of letting tension simmer, dare to hash it out. You can find positive resolutions by engaging. Happiness comes when you feel free to express yourself. Number 9. Stop trying to control everything. It's tough to accept, but so much of life is out of our hands. The need to control everything only causes more stress. Instead, work on flexibility. Rather than micromanaging, focus on controlling your outlook and responses. Adapt to changing circumstances. Embrace the unpredictability of life. Allow things to unfold naturally. See where they take you. Cultivate trust, inner calm, and acceptance. Let go of the need for control. You'll feel much lighter. The more you relax your grip, the more things seem to flow. Refrain from force, be open to receive. Magic happens when you release resistance and surrender. All right, that sums up nine key habits to break free from to allow happiness to flourish in your life. I know making changes is not easy, but have patience with yourself. Focus on one shift at a time. Over time, these small adjustments create an enormous impact. You have the power to create a joyful and fulfilling life. Happiness comes when you get out of your way. I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know in the comments below which habit you want to work on first. Remember to like this video and subscribe. I wish you all the happiness in the world. Until next time, take care.